It is 3 a.m., but I am determined to read at least one chapter. Let's do this. It's 1027. I really only got like six hours of sleep, but I'm up. My mom is bringing coffee and possibly a muffin. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start reading. I actually got through five chapters of Stuart Little last night because they're short. You know, it's a children's chapter book. I'm just gonna keep going with that because I think I can finish it up very quickly in like maybe less than an hour and then once my coffee's here I don't know if I'm gonna take it outside because of bugs but I might drink it and then go outside and start my comic book because it's summer it just feels right to read Aquaman I'm gonna go with this new 52 Aquaman comic book volume one the trench that's my reading day sorted if i finish both of them really early i'm just gonna dive right into one of my other books that would be fantastic but we'll see how the day goes i'm not gonna lie to you i haven't read a single page <laughs> but my mom is back with coffee and my muffin so now i'm actually going to read goodbye It is one o'clock and I just finished Stuart Little. I really liked it. It was cute, but the ending, <laughs> it didn't necessarily resolve what was happening. Like Stuart Little is on a journey to find his bird friend. I know it's a children's book and it's already pretty long for a children's chapter book. Like 145 pages but i would have read more just to find out what happens with Stuart little and what he goes on to do with his life anyways i really enjoyed it the only downfall to me was that there was really no definite ending now i am going to change out of my pajama shorts and put on my jean shorts and head outside to read my aquaman comic book I'm sorry, I, uh, I must look terrible. This is my third consecutive shift, trying to put two kids through college and it's, oh god, I'm sorry again. My problems are probably ridiculous compared to yours, huh? Not at all. And you look fine. He looks fine. <laughs> uh, just picture that as Jason Momoa's Aquaman, and that woman is me. It is almost two o'clock and I just finished my comic book. It was so good and I really, really wish my brother had the other ones because I would definitely pick up the second one, but he doesn't. I think I'm going to stay out here because I'm really liking being outside. I'm going to start The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. I can't believe I've never read this before. She's my favorite author and this is a very beloved book of hers. A lot of people love it, so I'm excited to finally read it. Look at this. This is a used copy. And on the inside, there's a name and a date from 1992.
Alrighty. Love this little illustration. You can't know, I snapped. I didn't know myself until I got there. I haven't mentioned it to a soul yet. If that girl Annie knows, she must be a clairvoyant. It was Tanny who told me. It was the milkman. He had it from the fellas' cook. As I say, there is no need for Caroline to go out to get it. She sits at home, and it comes to her. was listening to my Agatha Christie audiobook while reading the physical book. This gigantic bug flies at me. I get up and run back inside the house. I see it flying around. I'm praying it'll go somewhere else so I can go back outside. I don't see it anymore. I go back outside. Oh my god, it's on the patio. Run back inside. I'm watching it. Oh my gosh, I think it's dying. I run back outside and spray it with bug spray. <laughs> run back inside. I'm watching it. Is it dead yet? Is it dead yet? I go back outside. Is it dead yet? Oh, run back inside. My Agatha Christie audiobook is playing this entire time because I'm too scared to grab my phone. I'm watching, I'm watching. Okay, gotta make a run for it. Run back outside, grab my stuff, come back in. My audiobook is still playing and there's workmen in my neighbor's yard. I am a one woman comedy show. All this over a harmless, colorful, fig eater beetle. Okay, so I got distracted by my phone and I only got through one chapter and then that bug that attacked me earlier came back. Now he's on the patio dying. It's some sort of like iridescent green beetle that is huge. I've never ever in my life seen something like this. I want to show you but I'm so... I mean, I'm pretty sure it can't fly. It's dying. The wings are, I don't know, out of order. It's definitely dying. And I sprayed it with some of my <laughs> bug off. I don't know what it is, but it's creepy. Can you see it? you see how green it is? Whoa, look how big it is. Apparently, it is a fig beetle. It has a lot of different names. It's beautiful and harmless, according to the internet, but I beg to differ. I really don't care if it's beautiful, and I really don't care if it's harmless. Get it away from me. Beetles freak me out. Beetles, moths, spiders, mosquitoes, wasps, yellow jackets, fleas. No, I think it's dead, but I'm still scared. I feel bad that I helped kill it, but I just can't do it. I even saw a thing on the internet that was like, catch them and release them, which made me feel worse about spraying it with bug spray. But I just, I was freaked out. I didn't know what it was. The belly is so green and scary and it just looks so big. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't even do it with bees either. Oh, bees, I didn't mention them. I was at least an outside person for about an hour and a half, two hours. Now I'm just gonna read inside, where there's no bugs. Yeah, you see, the, the, there you go, there you go. No, it was better. You run into the channels, that's what you do. This is a good run. 
It's not a good hit, but it's a good run. In fact, I almost think he should have let it go down to his foot. It looked like he could have let it go down to his foot and tapped it in. I mean, I'm not a professional soccer player. Oh, I thought he was limping at first. I was like, that's not a good sign for the sub. Okay, dude. Why is he still, like, selling it even though he's off the field already? He should work for WWE. That's good selling. Ooh, okay. All right, hey, hey, get him, get him, hey! Awful. Awful. I cannot seem to make it out of the second chapter, and usually I am immediately into an Agatha Christie book. It's getting to the second half of the readathon, so I can understand reading fatigue. So I just need to take a deep breath and step away. I'm going to return to my Gilmore Girls marathon, eat my yogurt parfait, and then take a bath, watch some more Gilmore Girls, and give the book another chance before bed. I swear, they're planning on sending me to Korea for the rest of my life, Lane. Come on. It's gonna be just like that Sally Field movie when her husband took them to Iran and wouldn't let them come back, except that I won't have to keep my head covered. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Are you listening? I'm being shipped off to Korea. Yeah, I think you're freaking out a little prematurely. It is 11.34 p.m. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that I'm not going to do any more reading tonight. The good news is I did some reading in the bath and I'm already 25% of the way done. So I finished two and a quarter books today. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> to celebrate, I'm going to give myself the rest of the night off to watch Gilmore Girls. Maybe go to bed a little early. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that's pushing it, I don't know. Last night I went to bed at like 4 a.m. Let's maybe not do that. I don't really remember what I've been telling you, so let's recap. I started with To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which was my book in a genre I've wanted to read more of, which is like contemporary YA, contemporary YA, contemporary romance. You get the picture. It's not really my thing, but I give it a try because every now and then I actually enjoy that kind of book. Next, because I liked this so much, I went straight into the second book. P.S. I still love you. Read the first book you touch. I laid out four books on my bedroom floor, this book being any book on my iPad, and I touched the iPad. I deemed that the first book I touched, check. I really, really wanted to finish the trilogy. So I went ahead and read Always and Forever, Lara Jean. The book cover has a yellowish tint to it, so it does match a light yellow topaz. Also, there are various colors on their yellows and blues, and also some whites. Topaz comes in many, many, many colors. After that, a book that inspired a movie you've already seen, I went with Stuart Little by E.B. White. Check. Read a book outside your house. I read Aquaman Volume 1, The Trench. It was amazing. If you like comic books, DC, Aquaman, you should give it a try. It was great. Now I have started The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, a book that starts with the. The last challenge is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. I was originally going to read India Black and the Shadows of Anarchy, but I'm not 100% sure this is the book I'm going with. I might pick up an Amelia Peabody book. I might pick up another Agatha Christie book. I'm just not 100% sure at this point. We shall see. That is it for Reading Rush Day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Quarantine brain. That is it for Reading Rush Day 4. I will see you tomorrow for Reading Rush Day 5. Almost there. Three more days, two more challenges. Let's do this. So how are we coming here? Oh, Fran, so good. This cake is amazing. Beyond amazing. Well, I should hope so. We've been doing this for 112 years. Huh. Well, you don't look a day over 106. No, I meant my family's been doing it for that long. Right, okay. Well, I'm glad we got.